If Super Materials had a poster boy, graphene would be it. Composed of a single layer of graphite carbon atoms in a honeycomb pattern, its structure is stronger than diamond. It was first theorized as far back as the mid-20th century, but only gained recognition for its astonishing properties when Andre Geim and Konstantin Novoselov experimented with it and went on to claim a Nobel Prize in 2010. Graphene is famous for its excellent conduction of both heat and electricity. Atomic force microscopy has proven it is, at the very least, 100 times stronger than steel and can be stretched by up to 20% of its own size. It has been used for all manner of things, such as a coating material to nullity, lighting strikes, increasing energy storage in batteries and making touch screens more responsive. Its coating properties in particular help stop corrosion and preventing microorganisms from spreading. The electrons within it travel at a hundredth the speed of light, as if they carry no mass. Graphene's tiny size makes it ideal for small electronic devices, as its high thermal conductivity enables them to dissipate heat while still maintaining power. Graphene is also actually the source for many other super materials and is the parent form of carbon nanotubes and buckyballs. However, it was only experimentally isolated on its own accord in 2003 by the aforementioned Nobel Prize winners. There are currently only a few ways of producing graphene, mechanical or thermal exfoliation, chemical vapor deposition and epitaxial growth. None of these methods are exactly geared for production on a large scale, so a new way of creating the supermaterial has been proposed. This involves oxidizing the graphene that turns it into graphene oxide which is easier to contain and transport. However, this method is still in its early stages. Adding this simple carbon allotrope to a variety of surfaces and devices is surely the future as the human race looks to establish ever more efficient materials. Some are skeptical of the potential of this substance and it's admittedly hard to believe that one material can have so many impressive properties, but graphene undoubtedly still has much to offer.